My first part-time job was at MGM Studios in Orlando, Florida. They call it Hollywood Studios now, but to me, it's always going to be MGM. Now, I know a lot of you guys have been to Disney, and no matter what park you go to, there's always going to be certain types of things going on behind the scenes that none of you guys are aware of. But there's layers and categories that divide all the Disney employees. You have the people that have worked there for 15 years and they have their little pen and they've met their boyfriend or girlfriend there and they're getting married on property and it's a whole Disney themed wedding. Yeah, you got those people there. You have the people that take their job too seriously. Now you have the costume and the non-costume. You got the non-costume people, they're smiling all the time, they're just a little bit awkward to be around. And then you have the costume people who believe they are those Disney characters. Kids are sitting on a bench somewhere, you know, drinking a soda, and they'll run up and slap the drink out of the kid's hands. Like, kids, quick, come on! I just stole this loaf of bread from the marketplace because I'm poor. And guess what? You're poor too. Sultan's guards are coming. Let's run. Let's just sing. Let's sing a song while we run. Gotta keep one jump ahead of the lawmen. I, I never had a problem working with those people. Okay, then you got the people like me who would show up to work on time, clock in, do their job, clock out, not cause any problems. And I love working with people like me because I'm awesome. Now the people I didn't like working with, the snitches. And Disney snitches are the worst. Their sole objective when they come to work is to pretty much just rat and snitch on everybody else. They think they're like spies. In reality, they're coming to work and they're jumping into their 1984 Honda Civic, but in their mind, they're in an Aston Martin cruising in an MI6. Like they're a double O agent and they work for British secret intelligence. There was one day I went into work and they put me outside of my ride and I was not in the best of moods to be all smiley. And in the corner of my eye, I see the other greeter standing there and he's just there tapping his foot. You know, he's staring at me with his hands on his hips like, oh, he thinks he's all slick. I see him go over to the phone. Two minutes later, a manager shows up. Anyways, I got reprimanded that day and I'm like, dude, you're 38. Why are you ratting on some 16 year old? Like really, man, come on. But oh, don't get me started on the managers over there, okay? I can't talk for other Disney parks, but the managers at MGM in my section, oh, wow. Okay, so we had five managers and they would rotate every week and four out of those five managers hated my guts. One of them was black and you'd figured the one black guy would be the one that liked me, no, no. The black guy hated me the most. See, you can't give some black people power. Well, your best friend, until you hand us that clipboard. And then as soon as we get that clipboard, all of a sudden we think in our own minds we're lion -O, Lord of the Thundercats, and we rule over all of Third Earth and Thundera. Like, you can't give some black people that clipboard. Now the managers didn't start off harassing me. Like, this happened about six months in, and everything was magical at first. Like, at orientation, that was probably the best orientation I've ever had for any of my jobs ever. Like, they group all the new people up, they let you skip the lines, and we all go on rides together, you play team building games with your whole group, and it's like, they seal the deal with free food. One thing I will say, Disney has the best employee food anywhere. It's pretty much the same thing they feed the guests, but it's like 70% off. And I can't speak for anybody else, but if you ever want me to do something, doesn't matter how crazy it is, take me out and give me free food. If that orientation lady would have sat down next to me, I probably shouldn't even say this on this video, but anyways, if that orientation lady would have sat down next to me and leaned over and whispered like all quiet, like, Adonde, we're glad you're having a good time. Welcome to the team, but we need you to kidnap the Prime Minister of Australia's daughter tonight. I would have looked up at her like, yo, get me on a plane now. Forget Inception and we have to go four layers deep and plant a little idea of seed like a parasite. No. If you want me to do anything, bump all that. Just like take me to P.F. Chang's and buy me like $200 worth of food. Disney knows what they're doing, but they kind of brainwash their employees. And it's not a natural thing. I mean, to smile for eight hours a day, every day, and listen to that same every single day, your eye starts to twitch. And you start to like tick, like you get these weird little ticks. There's going to be some side effects. Same way there's side effects with Viagra, you know, like if your excitement lasts for more than 14 days, please consult a physician. See, those kind of side effects, like they warn you about. But at Disney, they never warn you about the side effects. Disney employees, they snap. And you never see the ones that snap because it's always when you go to lunch break, you raise your hand to clock out and then something psychologically fires in your mind and you just turn into a zombie and you just keep walking to the parking lot and just jump in their car and just go. You should never come back. I snapped. And you just become self-aware, you know, you, you want to stop working, but you just figure, eh. So what do I do? I start showing up late on purpose. First it was five minutes, 
then it was 10 minutes, then I bumped it up to 30 minutes, and nobody would notice. I had to step it up a little bit. So what do I do next? I start stealing. And I didn't want to steal anything too crazy, like I didn't want to get in any serious trouble. So what do I steal, okay? First I started stealing pencils. I'm Disney brainwashed, you know what I'm saying? So like stealing pencils is a big deal. And of course, obviously nobody noticed. So what do I start stealing? In front of the Indiana Jones show, we have the magnetic clipboard that we post at times. Yeah, no more 830 shows. I stole all the 830 show magnets. I don't know what came over me. I was just standing there, I was like, boom, you're coming with me. Thug life, baby. Okay, get on my level. And then one night, you know, my shift is over, I'm about to go home, and then some random manager from a completely other section of the park comes up to me, he's like, hey, you, hey, hey, kid, what's your name tag say? At a, at a, at a dante, at, you, at a mantium, come with me. I'm walking with this guy, I'm like, what's up, man, I'm about to go home. He's like, no, no, you're not going home, we need you. All right, a company just rented out the parks, and they only rented out half the park. So you see over there by Star Wars, where there's no lights and it's pitch black and there's a bunch of roaches scattering around and Lord knows what over there? We need you to stand there for about three hours. And I'm looking at this guy like, you're kidding, right? I'm about to, I gotta go home, man. I got school tomorrow. He's like, well, you know, buddy, I'm sorry. Okay, we all got things to do tomorrow, but you gotta stand over there. In case any guests get lost, we need you to stand over there in the darkness and if they walk over to you, redirect them back over to civilization where all the partying is, okay? We're gonna all be over here, you stand right over there. I'm like, okay, well, how long do I have to stand over there? Maybe a few hours, I'll come and let you know. I'm over there standing, and the longer I stand there, the more heated I get. This guy's talking to me like I'm a mutt, talking to me like I'm an animal? Who do you think I am? Why am I the only person standing over here? I don't see anybody else. I quit, I'm done, I'm out of here, peace. I'm walking, I'm done. That's it, I don't care what happens, I am done. I, I hope that guy sees me walking out. And as I'm about to get to wardrobe, to clock out, I look down the street and all I see are Disney chefs and the entire road is full of just free Disney food. Chefs are tossing pancakes in the air in slow motion, you got chefs on the grill, free food galore and that comes as one of the packages, like you can rent out the park and the entire park is catered. I gotta get some of this food, but it's like all rich old people around, like I can't blend in right now you know i assess the situation and i realize okay one i'm rehiring myself two i gotta find out what the deal is with all this so next day i come into work and i pull aside one of the employees that have been there for like three years and i'm like yeah um people can rent out the parks she's like yeah I'm like okay crazy question i know um uh so they always have free food like that or how does that work like yeah they always get free food okay Ah, a crazy question. I mean, what if an employee, like, got caught sneaking in and trying to eat some of the free food? I thought that was crazy, right? And she looked at me and she was like, um, termination on the spot. Okay, that's how I'm going out. I'm going out in a orchestra of bacon, sausage, and eggs. So about a month later, another group rents out the park. So now I'm just sizing everybody up. I'm like, ugh, no, still, I can't blend in with you guys. But two months after that, a high school rents out the entire park. And we only have two shows at Indiana Jones that night. So I'm telling myself, this is it. This is it. We do our two shows and the instant that second show ends, I'm like, Pew! like I ninja. Like I'm hopping from rooftops on the Disney ride to get to wardrobe. I change and now my new mission is how do I get back wearing civilian clothing without any security seeing you. I spent too many hours playing Metal Gear Solid. Hideo Kojima, do not fail me now, okay? I'm leaning up against walls. I'm in bushes. I have the little cardboard box that I'm creeping around in. You know, in the security walk. <laughs> you ain't gonna hear that. I make it back out there. I grab a plate and it's like hamburgers, chicken, pasta. I'm eating French toast for no reason. They have seafood, steak, ribs, Pillsbury Doughboy. It's like doing cartwheels in the background like hee 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 hee. They have fish, they have everything. They have gummy berry juice. You know from the cartoon, the potion that they drink, they actually, they have the real gummy berry juice there. I ate so much food, oh my gosh. I showed them. My kids might be obese because of some of the stuff that I did that night. And then I realized like, crap, I don't wanna be the one kid that's running around by himself eating all this food, so I gotta blend in. So I look around and I find these group of kids and I just kinda chameleon my way into their little clique. 
Next thing you know, me and my new BFFs, we're going on all the rides together. It was one of the best nights of my life. They never caught me. They never found out about it. Yeah, Disney, I got a confession. I quit about a few months later, so I don't work for Disney anymore. But I will say, I know it sounds bad, but working for Disney was amazing, awesome experience. And I tell you guys all that to get to this. If you guys know anybody that looks even remotely like me, this is what I look like. If you know anybody that looks even remotely like me, that lives maybe in the LA or Orlando area and works at Disney and has an ID that's valid, that looks like me, that I can use to get back onto Disney property, yeah, uh, please send this video to them. As a matter of fact, if you know anybody that works at Disney, because they might know so Actually, you know what? Just put this up on your Facebook wall, send it out to everybody, tweet it, because somebody that you know knows somebody that knows somebody that works at Disney that knows somebody that looks like me, and they need to see this video. So, help your boy Swoozy out, okay, because with a valid ID, I can get back on a property next time a high school or college rents out the park. Here's my Facebook. Here's my Twitter. Here's my MySpace. I even got a Tumblr. Here's all this stuff, okay guys? If you know somebody that looks like me, contact me immediately. It's about them chicken quesadillas right now, and you have not lived until you've tried Disney's seasoned french fries. True story. Okay, I'm done.